Guess who's back? Back again. My two cents. Tell some friends. What's going on guys? Hope y'all are doing fantastic today. I'm coming back at you with another haul. That's right. It's Fragrance Haul Friday. Woohoo! I went rack store shopping. I got three boxes down here. We got a lot of fragrances to go over. So stay tuned. Cue that intro. Welcome back, my beautiful fragrance family, to My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance, becoming a lasting scent. All right, so we got a lot of fragrances to go over, guys, and I don't want to make this like a 35, 40-minute video. Before we get into all the fragrances, though, I just want to go over a few things. I want to say what's up to the fragrance family. What's going on, guys? New subscribers, welcome. Glad to have you. Also, I'm going to go do the whole... Guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then you should definitely do so. It's completely free, and I've got something special. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. So here's some more incentive to subscribe. We're a big family here, and I want to do something special for you guys to say thank you. So I'm going to do something special every month. But I'm not going to be announcing what that is until Sunday. And I'm not going to tell you what time on Sunday. So go ahead, subscribe now. But also hit the notification bell. Because if you hit the notification bell, you'll know when I'm posting new episodes. And the only way that this contest is really gonna work is if you actually follow my channel. So if you know when the episodes are coming up, you have more chances to win every month. And that's about all I'm gonna say. So go ahead and hit that notification bell. I don't know when on Sunday I'm gonna be announcing the contest but I'm gonna be doing it every single month. So every month you have the ability to win something special. So that's the reason it's called the notification bell, so that you are in the know. So be in the know, notification bell. All right, so we got a lot of fragrances to go over, so let's just go ahead and get right into, insert quirky quote here, I had nothing. So whiffs and sniffs. So I'm gonna go over real quick all the fragrances I got. I'm gonna have to do unboxings real quick because I was so excited I haven't even unboxed them yet. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the unboxing is completely edited out, and that took me like 20 minutes. I'm not kidding. So my rack store pickups were from Burlington. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross had crap, nothing, nothing good. But I got a lot of cool stuff from Burlington, some really cheap cheapies that it's going to be interesting. Go over this in a second. Then I got fragrances from Crystal Fragrance and Lucky Scent. And I love Crystal Fragrance. Man, they sent me tester strips. That's... Awesome. Cool. So I'm going to go over my rack store pickups real quick. Uh, I got Bergamot and Cypress Woods from Ashton and Moore. Yeah, I have no idea. It was $9.99. We'll see. It's got body wash in it too. So, hmm. Kenny Benny, this one's for you. I got Guess Seductive Noir. <laughs> I just had to know about this next one. 50 Cent Power. Yeah, look at 50 Cent. Look at those abs. And then I got a Mercedes-Benz 4-pack. I don't own any of the Mercedes-Benz fragrances. I was curious. From Crystal Fragrances, I got OK Fine Vanilla Bourbon. Thank you for the suggestion, Pete. I can't wait to put my nose on this. I also got Byron, the Chronic, and I got the old school style bottle, and I'll tell you why in a second. From Lucky Scent, I got Rogue Mousse Illumine. Mmm, so good. I got Parfums Nikolai, and I think this is, this is New York Intense, and I got Queer Cuba Intense. So let's go over the rack store hunt first. I'm gonna get all the cellophane and all that jazz off, so I'll be back in a second. All right, so they're all unpackaged. So since I have so many fragrances, we have 13 fragrances to go over, I'm gonna make these kind of quick. I'm not gonna go over the whole box and everything with y'all. I'm just gonna show you the box and that's it. We're gonna start off with my cheapest fragrance and it's gonna be 50 Cent Power, $7.99. Not expecting a whole lot. I have never seen a review on this, so I'm extremely curious. I don't know if it's going to be any good. Some uh, One of my subscribers recommended that I try Jay-Z Gold. I've been looking for it. When I find it, I'll pick it up. Here's the bottle. It kind of looks like a shake weight. Okay, should be interesting. Thank you, Crystal Fragrance, again for the tester strips. Uh, okay, Atomizer. Okay. So it's not bad, honestly. Quite synthetic, it's spicy, a little smoky. Uh, almost, I'm not gonna say it smells like a Ventus, but it kind of smells like they were going for that, but did a, a, a terrible job. It's very soapy. Lemon, 
maybe some lavender or some interesting soapy uh, floral. I mean, for $7.99, that's not bad. I would definitely wear this like casually. I, this is not something I would dress up. Definitely a gem fragrance. Maybe some bergamot. Little, I mean, there's a lot of spice going on. Black pepper, maybe a little bit of cardamom. Probably pink pepper, honestly. Uh, designer fragrances love to throw pink pepper in there just to like spice things up. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. For $7.99, sure, why not? Is it great? No, well, not at all. It's quite synthetic, quite synthetic. Uh, and it definitely smells like it's not gonna be very powerful. Name's deceiving, 50 Cent. Name's deceiving. Next up, we're gonna try Bergamot and Cypress from Ashton and Moore, London Design. And just so y'all see, this is what it looks like. Interesting. Okay, so I got a body wash. Yay, just add that to the collection of body washes I have. All right, so I'm just gonna flip this test strip over because that uh, power is already dying off the test strip. Bergamot and Cypress. I doubt this is gonna be that great. Might be good. Decent atomizer. I'm gonna have to spray some more. What the hell? Okay, I mean it, no, this is terrible. I mean, this is not good. It's funky. Does not smell like cypress whatsoever. It's very medicinal. It's it's the most fake cypress note I have ever smelled. Wow. They didn't even try. It almost smells like cardboard. And I yeah, I know I'm smelling paper, but yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, that's uh that's going into I'm gonna gift that to somebody. Ah, that's so that's so not good. Uh yeah, uh if you guys ever see this, uh I mean, you can try it. It's, I don't like to like bastardize brands, but this, uh, to me, this is not that good. Anyways, next up, guest Seductive Noir. So one of my subscribers, Kenny Benny, shout out to you. Uh, he has been picking a bunch of these up, a bunch of the guest fragrances. And I think this is the one, quote me if I'm wrong, Kenny, if this is the one that is Francis Kirkjohn, uh, that, who is the perfumer. And I, I think I'll be able to tell as soon as I smell it. That's cute. Seductive Noir. I hope this is crazy. Francis Kirkshawn. Pretty good atomizer. That's nice. A little spicy, creamy. Maybe some iris in it. It's got a little bit of that powderiness. Nice citrus. This has got, I like it. It's It's got a little darkness to it. It's got some depth. Almost has a bit of a gourmand side to it. A little bit. It's nice. It's got some nice sweetness. I like it. This is definitely a nighttime fragrance. Yeah, this would be great for going out on dates, going out, hitting the bars, hitting up the nightclubs, which I haven't done in like 15 years. Sweet, it's fresh, it's got some really nice florals going with it. It kind of almost leans like La Mal, but completely different, but kind of. Yeah, I like that. You know what? That That's pretty good for, I think this was $9.99. I'm pretty impressed. Good job, Kenny. Thank you. I really appreciate you, uh, yeah, recommending me pick this up. I'm going to pick up more from the line just because of you. Thanks. Okay, so I've got four of these Mercedes to go over, so we're going to do it really fast. We're going to do, like, speed sniffs. How the hell do I get these out of here? Mercedes-Benz Men Silver. Don't look at these cute little boxes. They're so cute. <laughs> this is hilarious. Look how tiny they are. Oh, please tell me you have an atomizer. Damn it. Okay, you know what? Never mind, I am not going over these because they're little splash bottles. Wah, 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 wah. What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna put them in atomizers and then we'll revisit them. So that's it for my rack store finds. I did not know that these were splash ons. But now on to the good stuff. So I'm gonna start off with my lucky scent finds. Most of these are blind buys. Uh, this one right here from Rogue Perfumery, Mousse Illumine, is not. I've had a sample of this and I loved it so much I had to pick up a bottle. So, all right, so I went with a 30 ml this time because I think they're really cool bottles and I've got so many fragrances yet again that I went with the 30 mls. $87 for these 30 mls and these go a long way. So here's a fun fact about all the Rogue Perfumery fragrances. They're all eau de toilettes, but I'll tell you this. They are so natural and they use such natural ingredients, they act as if they're extracted parfums. They last for stinking ever and they project and they are so good. So here we go. 
So Mousse Illuminae is such an incredible fragrance. This is Mousse Illuminae, Illuminated Moss. So that basically what this fragrance is all about. Oak Moss in this is freaking phenomenal, phenomenal. It's so natural and it's really based around some cypress. Again, I love cypress. Lots of white florals like Artemisia. You got some cedar in there. This thing is incredible. And for being an eau de toilette, like I said, it stinking lasts. And I'm not wearing any fragrance. I just got out of the shower, so. Oh God, I love this fragrance. It, this is such a classic fragrance, but man, it's done so well. It's edgy. It's got a modern twist to it, but it is what classic perfumery is all about. Yes, Mousse Illuminae. Like I said, I will be doing a full review soon. It might be Sunday. Hmm, never know. Hit that notification bell. So next up, I'm going to do New York Intense from Nikolai. Nikolai Perfumer, I've been doing a lot of research on. It is Patricia Nikolai, who is a descendant of Guerlain. I have not seen a whole lot of reviews on the House of Nikolai, but I'm excited. Okay, so here's the presentation real quick. It opens like so. And I got little 30 mLs, and I'll tell you why. So they come in 30 and 100 mLs. 30 mLs are $67 at Lucky Scent. And again, I've got so many fragrances, uh, I don't mind getting these little 30 mLs, and they're kind of cute. Yeah. So New York Intense, I have not seen any reviews on. I don't know what the note breakdown is. I just, uh, yeah, I clicked on it and it said New York. I love New York. So here we go. <laughs> that sounds like a t-shirt. Anyways. Ooh, really good atomizers for these little 30 mLs. Wow. That's, cr that's very interesting. It's spicy. Again, some oak moss. Maybe that I could be just smelling the moss that's coming off of uh, Mousse Illuminae. But no, there's definitely some moss. It's got, it's got a little bit of like, maybe some civet or castorium. It's got a little bit of citrus, maybe. But it's, man, it's got a lot of florals going on. Some spiciness. No, there's definitely some citrus. Maybe some, maybe is that lavender or jasmine? That is really good. I mean, honestly, I can kind of sense a little bit of Guerlain in this fragrance. I'm not saying it smells like a Guerlain fragrance, but just the just the quality of the fragrance. This is really stinking good. Let me know. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Have you tried any of these fragrances or any of the fragrances that are coming up? Let me know. I'm really curious. And if there's any of these fragrances you'd like me to do some uh, reviews on, let me know. Yeah, that's kind of fresh and spicy, but it's got a little bit of like a bad boy side to it. Maybe some Alabama. That's, mm hmm I'm gonna enjoy test driving this bad boy. So next one we're gonna do is Nikolai Queer Cuba. Having Cuba in the name, I'm guessing maybe a tobacco fragrance, maybe. Or at least maybe, uh, maybe a rum. Ooh. Oh my God, yeah, definitely tobacco. Like a nice honeyed sweet tobacco. A little bit of citrus to give it, just give it some like legs, but he doesn't need it. That tobacco is phenomenal. Holy moly. A really nice honeyed sweet tobacco. Like think Naxos, but just different. Uh, a little bit sweeter, more like a honey ambery tobacco. Anise, maybe, maybe some licorice, something, something along those lines. Uh, got a little bit of spiciness. I mean, this is stinking good. Coriander gives it a nice spiciness. I definitely am starting to get kind of that hay, almost like the bamboo accord that's in uh, Mont Blanc Starwalker, but like way more natural. Though I love Starwalker. It's one of my favorite Mont Blancs. Let me know if you've tried Queer Cuba uh, Intense or any of the uh, Nikolais. I mean, these are phenomenal. And for $67 for a 30 ml, I know this juice is gonna go a long way. These are both Eau de Parfum, so yeah. This has got some freshness, but it's got a lot of depth to it, and the tobacco is, is awesome. Definitely super pumped up about Queer Cuba. Intense. So my latest episode, which I launched last night, it's not getting a whole lot of views, but you should go check it out. Leave a car right here. So I talk about one of my subscribers, Pete, in it, and he also recommended me try OK Fine Fragrances. So I said, OK, fine. <laughs> See what I did there? I went with Bourbon Vanilla. So they have some really well-known and award-winning perfumers that own the company and are the noses, but I mean, I can't remember what their names are. I haven't done a whole lot of research into the house. So they're little 30 ml bottles. Pretty cool. Oh, long neck atomizers. Oh, 
So the concept behind these fragrances is that they're actually barrel aged, like in bourbon barrels or uh, different kinds of booze barrels. And again, I know a lot about booze. So to be honest with you, I'll, I'll know if these were actually in bourbon barrels. All right, here we go. Whoa, those are powerful atomizers. All right, so right off the bat, this is definitely aged in bourbon barrels. The vanillins are very strong in this. I actually get some oakiness. Uh, I get a little bit of like a syrupy accord, so that's gonna be coming from maple. I'm curious what barrels they use. Being bourbon, most likely they are going to be using uh, something coming from Buffalo Trace, honestly. Buffalo Trace, Wild Turkey, Jim Beam. Those are the most predominant, the easiest barrels to find. Maybe something from Brown Foreman. This could be a Maker's Mark barrel. It kind of reminds me of a Maker's Mark barrel. Uh, yeah, so there's this nice mustiness that's laying underneath. It's kind of like a dusty smell. Uh, I can tell it's a natural vanilla, so it's a vanilla absolute. It's actually very deep and rich. But a lot of that could be coming from the barrel. This is actually fantastic. This is a fantastic fragrance. Oh my God. I mean, I think the barrel aging process is, is brilliant. It is freaking brilliant. I mean, I get a very realistic, like, just putting your nose inside of a bourbon cask. And there's no harsh medicinal, like, smell at all. Very natural. Very, very well done. A lot of nice woods, like rich, deep wood, but it also being like white wood. A little bit of like a char, but it's not like a smokiness. It's more like a caramelized char. Okay, fine, Pete. You were right. These are really good. Um, I'm going to pick up more of these. Uh, that's phenomenal. Okay, fine. If you ever watch this video, uh, yeah, good job. That's really good. Oh, and by the way, that was from Crystal Fragrance. I meant to say that. So next up, we're going to go with another one from Crystal Fragrance, and it is Byron the Chronic. All right, guys. So I went with the old packaging, and I'm going to tell you why. So here you go. The Chronic. They only had a few of these left at Crystal Fragrance, and they're moving on to the new packaging. The reason I got this in the 100 ml is because this is cheaper than their new 75 mls. And it's the same juice, so they say. Um, and I actually like these bottles better because the new ones actually kind of look like MFK bottles. And it's got this cool indention on the bottom. I just, I, I think these bottles are just really good looking. I don't know why they changed. Oh, ho, 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 nice pressurized atomizer. Yeah, so I don't get any citrus. I get a nice sweetness, maybe some cinnamon, black pepper possibly. It's got a little like spicy leatheriness to it. I like it. Mm. And I like a dirty green patchouli, like a damp, dark patchouli. Man, that's good. That is really good. This is something I would I would do like hitting the town. Yeah, I mean, if I owned a motorcycle, this is something I'd spray on before I, you know, get on my bike. This is good. I can understand why they call it the chronic, though there is no cannabis in it. It's kind of addictive. It's really good. That's really, really good. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around. That ends another wonderful week. Next week's haul is going to be epic. Epic. It's my birthday weekend. It's going to be phenomenal. So definitely come back next week and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because come Sunday, I'm going to be announcing this new contest giveaway that I will be doing every single month and you want to be a part of it. I promise. Thank you again, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, you're stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.